Uh, hello everyone, it's me again, Al Brown Spencer. Again, I apologize for the light. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to do with this, but here you go. Uh, today is Saturday, the 23rd of uh, October 2021, and it's almost 10 o'clock uh, in the evening. And uh, yeah, another day of my life was wasted, and... Uh, I'm trying my best and every day I'm protesting in Bournemouth Square uh, nothing happened and so on uh, and as you can see it's Saturday night and I am on my own uh, I don't have any kind of joy or happiness or uh, uh, enjoyment here in the UK whatsoever uh, and that's not because it's me not trying to enjoy life or getting on with my life uh, but it is my abusers who are refusing to admit what they did to me or take responsibility or be liable or even give me my compensations and, and money informally so I can restart my life. And uh, after what was done to me here in the UK, I don't want to open my eyes to any kind of joy or enjoyment here in the UK. And again, not because I don't want to, to enjoy life or get on with my life. But how would I get on with my life in a country where I don't feel part of, uh, I don't feel home, and I want to leave as soon as possible? Uh, as I tried to explain before, my abusers, specifically from the North African Arab Muslim country where I was born, are behind the curtain. And when I say behind the curtain, I mean, this is that's just an analogy to give you a visualization or to visualize what I'm trying to say in terms of they are running everything from behind the curtain and they are not on the stage. And basically they are pretending that they don't know anything. And basically all what I'm saying is just someone who's crazy, who's just saying whatever they want, or just you know making lies or whatever when actually they are the ones who are masters at manipulation masters at lying and deception and this is the three pillars that they basically base their realm or their authorities and their world on manipulation deception and lying and i'm saying so from my personal experience so yeah uh, i am well, I have no life whatsoever. I mean, these bastards not just destroyed my life, but also left me lifeless. I don't have any life whatsoever at the present time. And all what I'm waiting for is to get my money and compensations and leave the United Kingdom and go and restart my life at home, Castillon de la Plana in Spain, where I chose to be my future home where I am going to restart my life and so on. And I can see myself there and I can see my presence there and my future and so on. And I developed this kind of connection with Castillon de la Plana since I stepped foot in it to visit uh, in 2020. Have I said that? I am just an individual. I don't have any authorities uh, or power or whatsoever. And uh, basically, I cannot force the Spanish government to allow me or accept me to become Spanish or, you know, live in Castellón and become, you know, one of their nationals or at least in the beginning to live there permanently and so on. And I know for sure that the authorities from uh, the, the country where I was born and the British authorities, they can actually liaise with the Spanish government and actually make them... Uh, refuse my entry or deprive me from uh, entering Spain and all what I'm going to do once I get my compensations and money and I'm capable of leaving I will straight away book my flight to Castillon de la Plana and fly to Castillon de la Plana and if they refuse my entry for any reason I will have to get someone to discuss it with the Spanish government and see what's going on and anyway in the end, if that is it and uh, the Spanish government refused completely to give me this opportunity to live in Castillon and become one of the nationals or live there, at least, you know, be permanently resident there, I will either, I mean, there are a few other countries that I would be 
you know, willing to go and live and restart my life there and make home out of it. So, for example, in case of, of that Spain, I wouldn't be able to go to Spain or they refuse to let me go to Spain. Uh, I will go either to France uh, and probably number, uh, uh, you know, maybe, you know, it is the, the best or number one in the list failing, you know, starting my life in Spain will be uh, either Spain, sorry, uh, France, uh, uh, Germany, uh, maybe Netherlands, uh, maybe Belgium. Uh, yeah, I mean, any of these uh, countries, you know, I will be more than happy to live by the sea in any of these countries in a nice town or city by the sea. And again, start my air and sea adventures there. Uh, because air and sea adventures is is my business is my future and whether i go uh, to spain or not air and sea adventures is the goal in terms of my future business beside the letting holidays as well so whether i uh, you know if i fail to live in spain and uh, the spanish governments deny me entry or deny me you know the opportunity to be resident there in castillo de la plana i will uh, straight away go to either France uh, or Germany or Netherlands or Belgium uh, each of these countries has nice shores uh, and of course you know it depends because you know France has the biggest uh, area of shore of those four countries and then uh, 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 Germany and then Netherlands and then Belgium uh, so yeah I will see what's going to happen specifically that I can speak uh, French and it won't take me long whatsoever to be fluent at speaking French again. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't have a life whatsoever at the present time. My abusers destroyed my life and left me lifeless. I have no life. I have nothing you know, to do. All what I'm doing, just hoping to, wishing that my dreams will come true and get my money and my abusers get, you know, punished for what they did to me so I can get on with my life. And anyone out there, if you think that I am wrong about what I'm doing, please accept my apologies. Uh, you're wrong, not me wrong, uh, simply because life is for living. And I know you would say so, but being in a place or a country where you, you know, once experienced what I experienced that would be absolutely difficult specifically that I made up my mind that this is not my country and I don't want you know anything to relate me with the UK the other thing as well once I move from the UK and restart my life in Spain or whichever other country I will become myself back again or I will be back to myself and uh, will start you know living i mean i will have my compensations and money in my possession i will start air and sea adventures i'll start you know enjoying or doing what i'm enjoying and so on and above all of this eventually i will find a nice decent girl uh, hopefully from castillon uh, 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 i mean hopefully that's the case when i go to spain and it will be a very very organic a coincidence and you know it will be something natural meeting her and she would feel the same and she would be genuine and hundred percent genuine and we get on and basically start a family or I mean relationship and then a family but before then my first goal and what I am looking for and in front of my eyes all the time is air and sea adventures and my letting holidays or my letting business uh, because this is what I will be able to uh, uh, you know focus on and spend time restarting my life building myself again and eventually while I'm doing so maybe I'll find the right girl and so on but my focus mainly will be on air and sea adventures and my letting business and the holiday business and uh, yeah this is exactly what I'm trying to do but at the present time I am still here in the UK helpless under the authorities thumb and they can do whatever they want uh, I have no life they left me lifeless I mean they left me without a life whatsoever and uh, they destroyed my life completely 
and even till the moment these bastards are trying to use me again and they are trying to benefit from me again and above all of this they are refusing to give me my freedom and my money so I can restart my life and my freedom mainly must be from these cunts bastards from the North African Arab Muslim country where I was born who claim they are relatives and even they are if they are relatives they are just a bunch of cunts or they are he can't he is a cunt or she is a cunt or whatever and basically they must not have any authority over me and if any one of you think okay you gave up the nationality of that country how could they interfere in your life well these cunts these politicians from the country where i was born grew in power in a worldwide system and so on that they actually that's what i made you know i am 100 percent sure of now that they can actually interfere my life in my life using other channels using their authorities without getting you know or using the channel of the country where i was born and so on and maybe they can use as well the country where i was born i don't know but i believe 100 percent that they have enough authority to do so and uh, and basically whether they are using uh, the country where i was born and any you know authorities from their politicians or not or using their authorities via other nationalities or their authorities worldwide uh, uh, the fact is they are still using their authorities over me and interfering in my life from behind the curtains and pretending that they've got nothing to do with me which is the worst thing to be honest with you as i said before you know manipulation deception and lie are the three pillars these cunts basing their authorities and power and realm on and uh, and this is exactly what it is these cunts know not know nothing about honor justice or honesty or you know uh, 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 you know anything about humanity and so on i'm saying so because no matter what they are doing no don't be deceived by by their acts because what they do in front of you trying to help people or showing you that they are helping people this is just some of their methods to win people around them and make people believe that they are helping or they are good people but i promise you the reality is shocking the amount of people they killed the amount of lives they destroyed the amount of you know i, I don't know what else to say but trust me their their history is full of blood and full of destruction and deception <coughs> it's unbelievable so i don't know what else to say to be honest with you i mean i'm helpless and it's saturday night and it's 10 o'clock in the evening and i'm my life destroyed completely they destroyed my life completely and utterly and i am stuck here in the uk no money nothing at all and they are refusing to give me my compensations or money and not only this they are trying to force me to rely on the legal procedures which you can take i don't know how long it would take and uh, even the opponents or the f defendants can come back and argue and it would take long and then uh, it's just a matter of people who who know about legal procedures and so on they will understand so in other way they are trying to force me to stay here in the uk as long of or for as long as they can you know and it's obvious which to be honest with you it's more of destroying myself or i mean they are destroying me indirectly because they know i don't want to live here in the uk so they are using me <clears throat> indirectly to achieve what they want in terms of showing me as a person who is self-destruction or destroying themselves by <clears throat> not enjoying life or doing this or that or you know getting on with their life and so on and to be honest with you I am get trying my best to get on my with my life and live but it will never be in the UK the UK is a country where I came to to take a shelter of what was being done to me in the country where I was born in 2004 and tried to make a home out of it and actually all what they did was violating my human rights I don't know what to say I mean I, I, I cannot say it in details on, on, on the camera but they destroyed my life they used abused and tortured me in every way shape and form and uh, they did to me things that 
unbelievable stuff and that's why these cunts from both sides from the uk and the country where i was born they must go to prison and i promise you if there is justice in the uk lots of people and i mean it lots of people from the british authorities and non-government organizations will be in prison before the morning this is like this is justice that's if there is justice in this country in the uk lots of authorities or lots of people from the authorities here in the uk and the country where i was born will be in prison before the morning but what can i say my experience in this current country showed me there is no justice in the UK, there is no respect for human rights, there is no respect for freedom, there is no respect for privacy, there is no respect for anything whatsoever. If you are an individual of interest or they have anything to do with you or have any doubts, you're under your, their radar or whatever, they, they would do anything. They will break you down, they will destroy your life and that's exactly what they did to me. And not only this, they are refusing to give me a chance to restart my life and get on with my life. Not in the UK, in Spain, hopefully, in Castillo de la Plana, by refusing to give me my compensations. And it's not just the compensation. It's the compensations and any money they owe me based on this or based on something before. And I can explain to, in details to anyone who's interested. And also my freedom. Because moving to Castillon de la Plana or, or France or whatever is not the, the, the final stage of, you know, restarting my life. Because my life should be started or restarted clear. Not just my compensations, but also my freedom. So no more surveillance, no more interfering in my life, no more monitoring, no more fake lies basing on it or they base on it any future surveillance or whatever or oh we just want to make sure oh we just want to make to be sure that it was the right thing so all of these bullshit that they are trying and using to keep me under their authorities is just for the sake of the cunts or the cunt the biggest cunt in the you in, in the uh, country where i was born who are trying to keep me under their authorities over and over and over again they don't want to let go they don't want to understand that i am trying to get on with my life i am ready to get on with my life i want to get on with my life i want to restart my life i want to start living but not in the uk and by getting my compensations so i can rebuild my life and restart my life start the business i want start the life i want and so on and i've said this many times but these cunts and these bastards do not uh, uh, take a notice of what i'm saying that's why i'm saying it again clearly if there is a god up there i mean i don't believe in god myself and i will never will never believe in i will never ever believe in god whatsoever uh these cunts from the country where i was born and here in the uk who are refusing to take responsibility or admit what they did to me or take be liable for what they did to me or even give me my compensations informally and amicably so i can get on with my life as soon as possible and leave the uk these are the cunts that will never change and after what, what they did to me wh whatever the there is the whatever the reason is whatever the bullshit they trying to say or do or lie to people or make it look like or even if it is what they think how would you be in a position like this where you have authorities and you destroy someone's life and you still think that there is another way to restore their life rather than giving them their compensations and let them get on with their lives with their freedom these cunts if there is a god up there and i mean it from the bottom of my heart and my mind if there is a god in in this world and a god that created people who is you know powerful and can do anything and there is hell and heaven please 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 if there is a god please god take my abusers 
from this world. Everyone abused me or take, took a part in what was done to me. Please, God, if you exist, please remove them from the world because I don't like harming people and I don't want anyone to be encouraged to harm other people. The only way is if there is a God, please, God, if you exist, remove my abusers and everyone participated in what was done to me specifically those who are refusing to admit or take responsibility or even give me my compensations and let me and my freedom and let me go and have my the life i'm looking for please please take them and remove them from the world because by removing them from the world you're not just you're relieving me from you know, their authorities that is choking me like a chain around my neck, but also you're relieving other people from their, you know, evilness and from, you know, bad attitude towards people in life and from what they can do to other people. And I promise you, I'm saying so because I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I mean, this is the desperate, you know, attempt trying to get my my freedom and my money, my compensations and my life back so I can restart my life. If there is a God out there, please God, if you exist and you have this, this power, and when I say God, I mean like non-human non before you jump to conclusion. If there is a God up there, please, please remove my abusers and everyone participated in everything that was done to me from life completely. So I can get my freedom and hopefully my money, my compensations as soon as possible and leave the UK so I can restart my life in Castillon de la Plana, start air and sea adventures and my letting business and holidays and start living, start enjoying life and hopefully will find the nice Spanish girl who I can, you know, eventually settle down with and have a big family and enjoy life more and more and more. But my main priority is air and sea adventures and my letting business. This is what I will build and, and, and basically focus on to build my future and my legacy that I will leave hopefully a long time from now. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Al Brown Spencer. I am staying temporarily at room number one. That's West uh, Hill Road, uh, Central Hotel, sorry, Central Hotel. 135 West Hill Road and that's Bournemouth BH25EG and my telephone number is 0746592503 uh, please do not leave any voice messages and please do not use withheld numbers and if I don't answer please try to phone back later uh, probably the best the evening uh, or send me a text but please don't expect me to reply because I don't have credit. Even this, I, I don't have, I cannot afford at the present time. Uh, so please, if you can help, get in touch. I, I need everyone's help to expose these bastards because exposing them is overdue. Their punishment is overdue. For them to be in prison is overdue. And uh, for me to restart my life away from the UK and away from any authorities or groups or influence is overdue and i need your help so i can get my compensations and money because this is my number one priority this is what is going to enable me to leave the uk and restart my life wherever whether spain or france or germany or whatever but hopefully hopefully castillo de la plana where i developed connection with and feel home already and so on anyway guys thank you very much for watching and probably if you will watch this and you will wonder you would wonder why am, am i posting this or why uh, on saturday i'm posting this especially saturday night i promise you when you get to know the truth and the reality about the situation what was done to me and how they kept me weak poor helpless uh, and trying to deprive me from anyone's help by making it look like it's the, everything wrong is in me rather than them putting the circumstances and manipulated around me. You will understand that basically, you know, this is 
what I can do, what else can I do? I mean, it, I don't know what to say. What else can I do? I mean, they destroyed my life and leaving me helpless, weak. And, up, and above all of this, the problem is my life and my relationship with the UK and any one or anything British has ended already from inside me. So once I leave the UK and go to Castillon de la Plana in Spain, hopefully, or any other place, basically my relationship with the UK and Great Britain and the British flag has ended already from now. I mean, long time, since May, basically ended. And everyone or anyone or anything British, I will be trying my best to stay away from. And if you're asking, what about in one of your videos, you said you have two daughters who are here. Again, my, my daughters are British. They have British passports. They were born here and their mom is British. So, you know, I love my daughters so much and I want to see them today before, you know, I mean, as soon as possible. But the reality is my abusers are still using this against me till the moment. And I promise you, I promise you, one day I will be able to prove this, that they are still till the moment trying to use this against me. So when I go to Spain, when my daughters are big enough to make their own decisions, they can come and meet me in Spain if they want. They can visit and see their dad and see, you know, what their dad is doing there, his business and his family and so on. And they will be welcomed and I will make sure that my future kids and my future girlfriend welcome them and they are treated as part of the family, which they are part of the family already, which I haven't even started yet. But apart from this, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't want anything British or from the country where I was born to be in my life whatsoever. This is how bad it is. And no one is going to change this whatsoever. Nothing. And I promise you nothing. Anyone out there believes or thinks that there is anything, no matter what it is, you know, that they, they it can change my mind about leaving the UK or so. I promise you, you are just either dreaming or deceiving yourself or deliberately trying either to waste my time and make it look like, oh, you were wrong or you thought something else or whatever. Again, trying the same way of wasting my life or you're crazy to think that, you know, after making my mind and making up my mind that I would change again for anything. No, all I want my compensations. I want my money. I want my freedom and I want to be out of the UK as soon as possible and hopefully restarting my life in Castillon de la Plana in Spain as soon as possible. Otherwise, it will be either France or Germany or maybe Netherlands or maybe Belgium. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your time. I hope I didn't talk too much, uh, but that's all what I can do at the present time. Recording videos and posting them so people can see and maybe they can help and protesting in Bournemouth Square and giving leaflets. Maybe someone can help, although I don't know who would have authorities to stand against my abusers. But then again, if everyone, I mean, there is a there was a lady today, I think today, yeah, a lady yesterday, a lady yesterday stopped and asked me and she said that what you're doing is like banging your head in the wall. And I said to her, well, basically, my abusers are so strong and it's like a fortified wall. But if everyone, I'm not going to be banging my head on the wall, but if everyone stands by my side and everyone like even holding a fork and keep knocking on this wall, we're going to bring, bring it down. We are going to destroy it and bring it down. And this is exactly what it is, guys authorities and governments and groups and organizations that have authorities and they can destroy people's life like what they did to me and so on they are just a bunch of people who are doing the wrong thing they who are sh you know following the wrong path but they don't know they just believe they are doing the right thing and they they are deluded they think that they are doing the right thing i mean since when destroying someone's life is right since when harming people is right since when destroying people's, you know, uh, 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 aspects of life 
or putting them you know through hard time and so on is right these people think that they are doing the right thing but they are not they are deluded they are stray they they they, they just believe what they are believing in and and that's it and unfortunately they are in a position to control your life and my life and everyone's life and so on and there are people like you and me they are not mort immortals they are not superhumans they are not gods they are not untouchables and i promise you they are just like you and me whether they are in government or non-government organizations or group or anyone strong out there any groups or you know so secret societies or governments or groups or whatever they are people like you and me they eat they drink and they get ill and guess what they will die they are not gonna live forever everyone is gonna die and they will die and they don't know when is their time neither do I I mean no one knows when it is when is their time you could go to sleep tonight and you will never wake up that's 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 I, what can I say a 50 50 chance because yes you can wake up in the morning you cannot so in other words these people are just people like you and me and they can be exposed they can be prosecuted they can be judged they can be sent to prison for every misconduct or misuse of authorities or anything bad they did to me and other people so yes if you can help trust me you will make a difference if you help me and everyone helped me in this case to abuse to expose my abusers i will be able to and i will put them in prison for everything they did to me and i promise you when they are in, maybe they are laughing now if they watch this video and say is this guy crazy think he can put us in prison or he can expose us or he can win or he can maybe they are right maybe they have enough authorities that maybe they were gonna kill me or put me in prison again or put me in another mental health hospital or may, maybe they will put me here or there or put me on the street or do whatever they want I don't care I am fighting till the end and even even if I get my money today or tomorrow in any way form or shape and leave the UK I'm still gonna fight to expose them beside rebuilding my life because rebuilding my life is a positive thing and this is what I'm focusing on but that doesn't mean I do not fight to expose people who put me through what they put me through because what I've been through can never be forgiven can never be you know for forgotten so in other words if you can help that would be so so appreciated because this is one of the goals as well beside rebuilding my life after taking my com my compensations hopefully and money and so on and start my life I, I will carry on exposing them and I'm gonna leave everything I know to people who want to fight for their freedom and fight for you know getting a better future because I know things that will expose lots and lots and lots of misconduct and misuse deliberate misconduct and misuse by lots of authorities here in the UK deliberate it's like a curriculum and they use it against people if they have doubt around you or in even any one of them Put you under the radar they can do this to you which is not acceptable and the best thing on the number one thing that I will ask British people to fight for themselves not me I'm leaving the country anyway is criminalizing any misconduct or misuse of authorities or power by any member of authorities because at the present time here in the UK if a member of any authority misconduct or misuse or make a mistake and cause anyone from the public any damage they don't go to prison it's just a civil litigation do you know what is a civil litigation that's what I got to, to know recently that basically it's just a money claim that even the authorities can or you know your abusers or the people who cause you this damage can even argue this and even when it's done and that's it they have to pay money they can even argue the amount how what to pay you as a kind of payout or compensation which is not fair and it can consume long time of your life so in other words yes it's evil system and evil way of getting justice done or justice fulfilled justice to fulfill justice must be fast in terms of positive things as for negative things it must take as long as it can in order to prove it and when I say so, it's not working both ways. 
like yeah because i am taking them to court or i am exposing them for what they did to me uh, they are on the right the side of trying to prove no they didn't do this so it takes long no it, they destroyed my life and this is this is a fact it's not just because i'm saying it and the proof of this everything i've been through and when people get to know this and so on you will understand why i am saying that basically this is the case it's not because all oh, right okay just that happened to me that happened to me that no, i have even papers to prove what was done to me as well so i don't know what else to say all what i'm gonna say guys that if you fight for your right and if you fight for your freedom and if you fight for a brighter and better future it's gonna be for you and for your kids and so on here in the uk i've got nothing to do with the the internal affairs or any british affairs i am going to leave the uk 100 percent whether i'm going to start my life in castillon in spain or another or in france or germany or netherlands or uh, 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 belgium and basically you know it's up to you to do so but i'm going to leave the information and all the details i have and so on to everyone who wants to know the truth about many things so anyway guys thank you very much for your time thank you very much for watching and hopefully i will be in castillon de la plana in spain as soon as possible with my compensations with my money with my freedom with my life or what is left of it in front of me so i can restart it and enjoy it and do what i like to do and hopefully that will be as soon as possible well thank you very much for your time and you have a great night thank you take care bye